Matthew Burnett, uh, tell me about the experience of uh, working at the Merge Song Camp this year in 2015. The experience this week was incredible. Just like last year, I'm probably going to say the same things because it was that good of a camp again. Um, but no, it was honestly like a really good experience. Um, it was amazing because last year, you know, with like the, the the foundation, I didn't really know a lot of these writers. You know, I was really new to the songwriting kind of thing, uh, collective songwriting. So this year was incredible for me because it was a chance to reconnect with the writers that I worked with last year, and you know, build not necessarily just musically, but friendships. You know what I mean? So it was a really good social uh, week in terms of you know, um, just just the hangs and all that kind of stuff. And then obviously the music was phenomenal. Obviously writing with some of the best writers in the world. You know. The songs are going to come out amazing. You're actually a songwriter, a beat maker, a producer. Which role did you do most often here at the Merge Song Camp? Honestly, that's a really good question. Um, and I say, you know, and like it's funny because I had this conversation with a lot of the other songwriters and producers. When you're working in a, a songwriting camp like this with a lot of people, because it was a big camp, there was a lot of writers in the rooms, um, you really got to know your role. You got to know the room. It's really important. So it, it differed. Like, you know, like it really switched up on a day-to-day -day basis. Sometimes I took the lead role as a producer. Sometimes I took the backseat as a producer and I did more, you know, focus more on the songwriting aspect other times I let the songwriters just do their thing and I focused mainly on production with the other producers that was in the room so I kind of bounced around and just being able to do everything you know reasonably well I would say um, it was really really good for me to be able to kind of switch hats and you know be able to adapt to the room depending on what was going on and who was taking the lead or who was not taking the lead so I was kind of bouncing around a bit this week which was good because you know I had great results so I'm not complaining I wish there was more time in the day like this week especially every single merge the producers always dread the last day because the last day is always the finish up day so even last year when you came in I was finishing up zero and I spent the whole day on that, even though I, I spent a day on it when we wrote it. So production takes a long time. So today I was, uh, I had three songs that I wanted to play and I didn't even have time to finish all three of them. I only finished two because that last one was just, it just wasn't ready yet. So like, yeah, it was just, it was a lot of work. The writing was the fun part and now, you know, the finishing up part was obviously the more stressful part because obviously all the writers wanted to hear their songs and as the producer you obviously don't want to you know disappoint the writers and you want to hear your music as well so I just try my best to finish up as, as much as I could. You mentioned, you mentioned Zero, uh, I understand that that song might be placed with Chris Brown, can you talk a little bit about that? Um, yeah you know in a nutshell it's a song that I wrote last year during this camp um, with uh, another producer named Tashar and a uh, songwriter Sean Douglas and Talay Riley and um, yeah it's, it's an amazing song, Chris Brown heard it, loved it, uh, recorded it um, and so, you know, hopefully it should be being, uh, be heard soon, hopefully, you know, so. fingers crossed. But yeah, you know, he cut it, I've heard it obviously a bunch of times, it sound, he sounds incredible on it, he destroyed that song, so I'm really, really excited about that one. You've had your work placed with Drake, Eminem, Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, how did you get your music out to those people? Uh, well, you know, I really got to give credit to, you know, my good friend Boy Wonder. Um, in high school, I, I, I reconnected with Wanda. Uh, he knew me when I was much younger. And yeah, you know, we ended up working on music together. He ended up signing me. And, uh, you know, I did a lot of my music, my early on music, you know, with him. Uh, so all the Drake, Eminem stuff, you know, Nicki Minaj, Wayne, Busta, Game, Kendrick, all that kind of stuff really came through him and, and through working with him. So, you know, besides the fact that I got to, you know, get my credits up, you know, just the learning experience um, was incredible. And, like, honestly, without that, without that grooming process, I probably wouldn't even be able to have done this camp this year and also last year. So, you know, it's been a great time. I understand that as a young man in high school, you were actually already making beats and trading them with the likes of Jordan Evans and Boy Wanda, just seeing who could make the best beat. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, we used to do this thing, because uh, MSM was like really, really popular back then. Mm -hmm. I kind of miss it, but you know, it was really, really popular back then, so Wanda would actually send us beat clips. So like, he'd be making a beat, and I would just randomly get like an a audio clip on MSN, and I press play, and it's a beat that he's making, and I'm like, crap, and then I'd send him like a clip of what I was making, and like, of course, he was always better than me at the time because, like, you know, he was older and he too was doing it longer. So he, he would always tell me, like, yeah, you know, this is cool, but like, work on this. So like, maybe try something like this and send me another clip. And I'd be like, crap. I'd try and send him another one. So it was always a back and forth, which is why we got better so quick because just being around somebody that great, you know, really pushed us and kind of pulled out the greatness that he saw in us, you know, from early. So it was, it was a lot of fun. What are you up to next? Uh, well, this week, I'm a combination of trying to get some rest 
and uh, <laughs> and finishing up uh, these songs because I know in the next two weeks I'm going to get the texts and emails from the writers saying, hey, what's going on with the song? Like, can we hear it? So I'm going to be focusing on that. Um, and also, you know, I have, uh, I'm working on Daniel Caesar's project, you know, with Jordan, him and I are, are executive producing that together. So, you know, focusing on that uh, in the next coming weeks. I'm also doing another project with Diesel. Uh, for this uh, artist named Eleven Eleven, uh, we that should hopefully be out in the next month or so. So you know, doing like you know a mixture of local stuff, and I'm also going to LA in two weeks for about three weeks or so um, to do some writing there. So you know, just trying to stay busy and have my hands in a bunch of different things as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. The more you do, the more likely it is it's going to get somewhere. Exactly. So always trying to you know have a hand in something.